Hey everybody and welcome to another Adobe Live here on Behance and today is a stream that I've been looking forward to for a very long time <laughs> as I'm here with David Cousins. Hello. Um, how are you doing? Are you good? I'm doing very well thank you. How about yourself? I'm good. I'm really good actually and I've been, um, as I said, I've been looking forward to this since a rainy day in September um, where, and this all started, I mean there's there's a whole story to tell. Everybody, I hope you've got a cup of tea. I hope you're sitting down. <laughs> I hope you're ready for, you know, um, a, a story because, oh boy, have we got a story for you. Um, before I start, let's say hello to everyone because everyone has come along to this. Um, David, the tips that you give are always so good when we're drawing. I think I wrote down word for word everything you said last time. So everyone has come to us today. <laughs> so I'm loving it. So hey, Sean, Sean's hilarious words in the chat already today, which I'm loving. <laughs> um, so hey, Angus is here as well. Hey, Michelle. Yeah. And Oliver's here as well. Uma Khan and Tony Harm is in the house as well. How are you feeling, Tony? Oh, he, very he, he, Bless him, he was rough on Friday. Oh no, was he? Oh gosh. Yeah. Well, I hope you're better, Tony. Uh, hey, Stuart's here as well. Stuart, you're going to love this one. This is um, all about drawing facial expressions. Um, so yes, so let's, um, oh, hey, Linda as well. I can see it. Linda's like, hello. Um, if you want to ask questions for David, I will make sure that they get asked. Um, so if you're watching on YouTube, come over to Behance. And if you're in Behance, pop the question in the chat, let us know. Um, as you've seen, today is all about drawing facial expressions. And where this started, so this is like, this is where it all began. Um, I've been working on a project where I've been drawing faces for some time. And I'll be really honest with you, I would never consider myself to be an artist or somebody that's really good at this kind of thing. I'm a bit of an imposter. So, um, so I've been drawing faces <laughs> and, um, and mostly girls' faces actually, because I draw my daughters a lot. So I've been drawing faces. And, um, and I, I drew my husband, Kev, and I, and I couldn't get it right. And I couldn't work out what was wrong with it. And you know, when you're staring at something for so long and you're working on your own, um, that you really need other people to kind of weigh in and be like, whoa, what's no, going on here, man? Like, whoa. So, so I shared it on Instagram, which was, you know, I thought, bold move. Let's just get it out there. Let's just share it. And so this is what I shared. So I'm sharing my screen now. Now, of course, as you know, I'm a big fan of bright colors. So this is the coloring for this is already a bit neon. But the problem was the hair looked like chips. And <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's be fair, the hair looked like chips. Um, the eyelashes way too girly. Um, the lip color. Really I don't see anything wrong with girly eyelashes, by the way. <laughs> Well, no, that's just, I mean, I really, it's just the fact that I'm jealous because he's got beautiful eyelashes. I, <laughs> I should have drawn them in as much as I did. And then the, the colour purple of the lips was just, I mean, you know, a bit too much, right? So I, I shared this on Instagram. I said, help, help everybody. You know, what can you give me? And then Dave <laughs> came back to me, not only with uh, an image, say, hey, have you tried this? He gave me look at this feedback. This is the power of the Adobe Live community. So David came back to me and was like, right, honey, hair, you know, <laughs> hair is less fragmented. So think of it as a mass rather than individual strands, hence the chips. So <laughs> I appreciated that a lot. Um, <laughs> Tony's, <laughs> Tony's put in the chat. <laughs> I thought they were chips. And then Tony's <laughs> <laughs> I wondered why Kev would be wearing a chip helmet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are not wrong. Right, and then it gets better. <laughs> so then the eyebrows, I mean, I got no idea what I was doing with the eyebrows. They're a bit sluggish. Uh, so he was like, again, not focused on strands. David, you're so good. Um, and then he's That's like, right. hair on the head is slightly broader. So then David asked me to send him the reference photo that I used to draw this picture. And that's the reference picture of Kev on the left there. So you can see it was kind of like a more open mouth and, you know, bigger eyes, whatever. And then, um, so Dave removed the lip colour from the lower lip. So yeah, I make it definitely looks a bit, you know, um, more manly. And then you've got, um, unless you're trying to draw attention to them, don't render every tooth, which is again, yeah. really good advice. <laughs> I love it. Oliver's like, it's only been four minutes. A man is already gone. <laughs> <laughs> you guys right so and then david drew this look at this look at this stud 
I mean, amazing. So <laughs> this is honestly, Dave, you're so good. You're so, so good. So we were like, oh, gosh, we, we should do a stream on this. I mean, really, it's a personal stream for me to get all of the tips. So I've got my plan. <laughs> No fair that I'm going to be writing everything down. Um, but, you know, really, just to talk about just some of the common traps and things that we fall into when we're drawing um, faces and facial expressions and all of the tips, you know, that, um, that David's going to give. So, Dave, this is like a really long introduction to the stream that we're doing. Today. I'd, I'd like it. Any introduction that tells me how good I am repeatedly, that's, that's fine. You just make this stream that. <laughs> that honestly, yes. an hour for me, that's, that's great. <laughs> Well, no, that is exactly what we're here for today. Um, and as you see, you know, it's, uh, you know, all of you, I mean, I've seen a lot of the people's work on our community, on Adobe Live. Um, I've seen a lot of it, whether it's through Discord, whether it's through Instagram, um, whether it's on Facebook or even LinkedIn. And so we've got some amazing creatives out there. And I think that, you know, it's these types of streams when you're just sharing this perfect little formulas of wrinkles or teeth or hair like this yeah. is the golden stuff babe but we're all here for so um <laughs> in the chat waterproof <laughs> mascara <laughs> <laughs> oh, i love it I, lo I absolutely love it right so anyway i'm gonna stop talking i'm gonna have you uh, david like honestly where do you want to start with facial expressions like what's the best place to start okay well i i thought um how we'd start uh, it, again it, as whatever as, as I've had with previous streams, I don't necessarily want to jump like straight into just just giving advice on something in case somebody doesn't know something. We all miss gaps in our fundamentals all, all the yeah. time. So um, I thought I'd go over some uh, just very kind of brief, loose guidelines. Not hard, fast rules because there are loads of books yeah. with really boring rules and stuff with like exact measurements and stuff. Oh. We're, we're talking just guidelines which everybody can find, where everybody will find kind of useful, assuming they don't know. Um, yeah. uh, and uh, once once we've covered those kind of base, like those kind of basics, then we can go into the um, uh, a, a few of the differences between like um, men and women's faces and ages and stuff. So when you're drawing likenesses. And then, yeah, yeah, then go into like the once once we're completely out of the way with that, then we just go into expressions and just go crazy and see what happens. And then if 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 if, if there's a gap, we can just say about how great I am for a while. I'm fine. With that. <laughs> well, that that's definitely a theme in the chat. And um, and I, <laughs> I had a little giggle whilst you were speaking then because Oliver, Oliver wrote, "How how did your hair that doesn't look like chips?" But the awesome David. <laughs> Uh, and then Tony, but quick, everyone, don your chip helmets to protect you from the mascara tsunami. Um, brilliant. <laughs> you guys. Oh, you keep, keep keep going, chat. I love it. <laughs> That's a superb. Oh. If, if, if it feels weird being on this this side of things, because I, I normally put loads of jokes into Tony's chats when he's doing things. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, we should always okay. do that always. Okay, okay. So I, I'm actually going to draw something. <laughs> right. Okay. So. And onto my screen. Uh, the way uh, the faces and kind of like heads in general, but they can seem kind of complex, but you can really boil them down into, and there's no pun with this because the next thing I'm going to draw is an egg. Okay. okay. So we're going to go, let's make it look a bit more like a kind of ovoid shape, to be honest. Um, let's see. And do you yeah. not use a picture for reference or anything? I mean, you've been doing this. You're such a pro, right? You've been doing uh, this. You probably don't need pictures for reference now. I do sometimes. It depends on how much the likeness is important or if there's something specific. But no, this right now is uh, just a... Sorry, I'm drawing this way bigger than I normally would, so it's kind of throwing me slightly. Oh, don't worry. Um, and this is Photoshop too, right? So you're, you're yes, drawing... Yes, yeah. Okay, yeah, this so is just directly into that's... Photoshop, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, so we've got an egg kind of shape. And then the other thing, which you use to make any kind of face, there we go, a little bit of lag there, is just uh, kind of like, if you imagine a piece of paper or card, just kind of like that going around. And this is actually all you need to make the side of a head. So we'll shrink that down out of the way. Cool. Get out of the, get out of the way. Uh, because, yeah, basically the rules then become, I might do this slightly small to hope, uh, just because this is going to, this will stay in my head, so, uh, right, so, 
And while you're drawing, David, um, Tony put in the chat, by the way, David, thank you and everyone else there for lifting my dull spirits last Friday. Oh, oh I did. Tony was a hero. He was he was not feeling too good at all. Oh. And and he was he was hanging in there and getting his stuff done. But it was, yeah, no, I felt really sorry for him. And admiration for carrying on. Okay, so with with heads, right? From the, this is just from the science view. The way this kind of works. Again, guidelines, people do have some variations, but especially when we're doing stuff like expressions, you need to know the basic rules before you know how you can bend them and break them. Okay, so you've got your, your ovoid shape, your egg, and then you take like a line down the middle, and then this is always where the jaw is going to start, this bottom line here. Ooh. And so if we do a straight line down, Okay, and then we just this this is just kind of rough. Okay, so if you imagine there's an imagined construction line there, the face we're going straight down, and then we just eyeball it because it's not there's not any need for any kind of exact science or stuff. So we just go down and across, and we've already started to get the beginnings of a face shape. Okay, so then what we would do we go approximately halfway between this point and this point. So we say there looks good. So go, bah, 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 like that. This is our eye line. Okay, so we can draw in an eye. Now apologies, because this is going to get a little bit sketchy while we do things. So that that's that's where our eye sits. And then we're yeah. going to go halfway between this eye line and the chin line. We're going to say this is roughly where the nose is going to be. So we're going to draw that there, and then we're going to go again, slightly above halfway. So we're going to go halfway and then go slightly higher, and then that's the mouse because the mouse is always slightly higher. You can probably see this taking shape already. Yeah. Uh, so if we move our eye line guideline across a bit, then. And like like I said, this is one of those things. Once you do it a few times, you don't need to laboriously like do it yeah. but these are always good guideposts okay so just again vaguely i'm not being kind of particularly straight or precious about things this is the top of the ear and it comes down and then meets that line there with a the jaw the ears always behind the okay cool that that midsection of the word i was looking for so again, that's the ear and then we just kind of um we just like add some details so we bring up that'll be the nose there this there's like a construction guide. This isn't particularly important to know, but it's uh, you can bring up the forehead there, roughly, and then we just go. Uh, uh, what else am I remembering? Okay, so the cheek, there's uh, like the um, jawbone, will kind of sit or come down. Oh, no, that's that's rubbish. Let's do that again. Let's see. Yeah, let's just sit there because it's like the part of the socket. And then we can kind of just draw everything in. So yeah, if we do another layer, things like. And again, this this is just your basic human head. There are there are variations for sex and age and all other kind of things. I mean, we can explore that. So you've already got how the head's looking like that and if we hide this one oh i'm drawing it all in but you can see how that starts to take shape and then you can wow. draw stuff from there very okay. cool good okay so so that's it basically from the side so it is just thinking about let's get rid of some of those and it is just thinking about those construction lines uh so it and it's again if we do this from the front we can see, let's go, let's move that across a bit out of the way. You can hide. So for the front, we're going to say it's this time, it's kind of like an egg shape from the front. Because uh, humans are basically egg shapes. <laughs> as far as that. We're <laughs> giant eggs. And, uh, and I, I will show how this deviates because we, we are just talking, this is just the standard based on, an, on your average skull. Yes. Okay. So, and so. um, Tony's put in the chat, um, which I, I 
Oh uh, yeah, I'll read the I'll read the question to you, and you'll see. Uh, so yeah. he says uh, I, he knows that you love the Morpho series, but have you yes. ever read any Andrew Loomis books? Yes, yeah, I've I've got um, I've I've got a really old battered copy of Figure Drawing for All It's Worth, and I felt really bad because when when I was in college, so like nineteen twenty, I think not I'm not nineteen or twenty, um, uh, it was on a list of concept art books. And this is before the internet when you could find like PDFs of things and or, or cheaply sourced books. We're, we're talking this is like you just went on eBay to find something. Mm. And my dad ordered me this Andrew Loomis book and I did not get on with it. And he spent like a whole load of money with, on it. And it was kind of, it was like a, it was a really damaged reading copy, but he still spent a lot of money. And I know because I've got the, the invoice and the thing is actually in there. I hit the bookmark and I didn't use it for years and years. And last year, I literally thought, Do you know what? I need to make this worth my dad's while because he spent so much money on this oh, book. Okay. And so I went through it. And finally, after all those years, it clicked. And I looked into actually it's a really good book. But it's just when I when I was when I was 19, I was not prepared to read it or to learn from it, I think. Mm. And I was coming with a different mindset. And it's that's yeah, it's a really good book, the Andrew Loomis stuff. Cool. Oh, I'm glad you got into it. Love I it. am too. The, 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 the guilt of how much he paid for this crappy reading copy. <laughs> no. Oh, no. No. But yeah, okay, right. So, eyes again. Mm. Got your, your midway down approximately. Uh, midway down for nose. Slightly above mid for mouth. Uh, when you're drawing eyes, there's kind of a tip because obviously everybody's eyes can be a different shape and whatnot. This is my, my style of eye, but there's a trick in the, the distance between anybody's eye, no matter how big or long or eye is literally you could have a. I'm trying to do this, I'm looking at myself. You could have a third eye there. The, the length of your eyes is is the same, so that that's so you know the spacing is correct. So you could, I always draw my imaginary okay. eye there, and then would start no, there. I'm writing that one down, Dave. Yeah, it, it, it's eyes. always it doesn't matter how. If, if you make the eyes like really, really big and wide, you just put, you just increase that gap so it all looks like that. And then that, that will read as well any single time. So yeah, there's a, there's a imagine a hidden third eye between them. And and that that's over every single time. Uh, right, for the mouth, this is one I think I told you actually. If you imagine like we've got our eyes, this person looks absolutely traumatized. Um, <laughs> But the mouth tends to be the corners of the mouth. If you drew a line like there, which now he looks he's really, really scared. Um, yeah. the, the corners of the mouth go to there. So let's get rid of that because that is starting to look some kind of horror movie Ooh. thing, which is scared. And so I, we can just go. I'm looking at the picture that you drew for me, and it's exactly right from the yeah. eyes for the. Very good tip. Yeah, it's 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 again. It, this is what, what I like about these kind of streams, is that you can just say that kind of tip, and it's it, it's in, it's in context, and it's like, oh yeah, okay, that does make sense. And yeah. I, I've got a I've got a prediction that you're going to like the one about ears. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's prediction. If you don't like it now, I won't be crushed. It's fine. Um, so, <laughs> Sean's like, is anyone writing these down? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, so. Yeah, and, and to use a guide, because I wasn't thinking about that, let's go, we won't use red because Tony's watching, so we'll go pink. And Liz has just joined as well, hi Liz! No. Bang, like that. Uh, just look at the measurements. If, 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 if the viewers watching, if you see me keep looking down, I've made notes for myself. So that, so that I won't forget, because I, I, I ended up doing a thing when uh, I was doing a stream with Tony recently. And I was like, I'm sure there's something else I'm supposed to say. And I completely skipped an entire section of stuff because I'd left everything in notes in here and I'd missed one layer. So I, I, I write it down on paper now. Especially yeah. if people are throwing questions at you all the time, mm. then it's, it's easy. And we're very distracting because the chat here is always, always busy in the UK, which is great. It's lovely. It's, it's really great stuff. <laughs> and then so, okay. And then this just backs up uh, your proportions. Okay, so you get cool. the, um, this is that line there. So you've got your like halfway point 
there and yeah. then we can even draw in the ears because we do the same thing so we start there and then we take it around to the base of the nose here so there we go out it's the nose and yeah it's the same on your picture i keep checking the one that you drew for me so good. <laughs> but yeah and, and so so yeah that, that's your basic um your basic history important little thing to notice is with the ears they're not uh if i drew draw another layer on top let's go get rid of that uh nope let's not do that let's delete this one there we go uh they're not uh flat which is something you can often see people do people will like make their ears uh come out like this instead yeah, of I they'll, kind of do, that. They'll, they'll, they'll do this kind of thing and people's mm. ears don't do that. They all kind of, even like, I mean, I've got fairly small ears. They kind of they don't go out much, but I mean, some people's will go out. Like, I mean, this is goes in elf. It, yeah. If you think of that kind of elf thing, they, they, they do point out in that kind of way. Mm. So that's it's something yeah. to watch. And, and you also see like straight on, you see a fair bit of people's ears. Because mm. from certain angles, the other ways you see people kind of draw these smaller truncated things. Right. Okay. So basics of the head that was um that was that part and then if we say <laughs> Tony's that. like David has just drawn my ears <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I mean I'm really interested in how to draw hair that doesn't look like chips so oh, oh, okay we, we, actually do you know what? let's do that now let's let's go that... <laughs> let's go off work already we're doing it we're going for this it. is where it all went wrong for me the, 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 the... <laughs> This is what I always love about our streams, Maddie. Is it is just like no, we're we're, we're just going to go. We're going to change what we're doing. We're right going now. off base. We're, we're doing we're, it. We're, I love we're it. doing it. We're going to change it right now. <laughs> this second. Okay, so back to my brush. Hello. Hair. Mm. Um, there's a few things we can talk about hair. Okay, let's say your average. I say average. I'm going to say your your kind of person under thirty has hair about here. Okay. 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 So it starts about here. Why is that? I, I love the, the chip emojis are emerging in the chat. I'm sure <laughs> they're all of that. All, all right, you love. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so your typical hairline for a younger person will start about there. Uh, and what happens, as as you can kind of see, um, I, ha I always had a high hairline anyway, but your hairline for both men and women does recede over time. It's like and hairs can start off really, really low down here, like really close to your eyebrows, and then will gradually recede. Now, the way it recedes is different for men and women at some, but you'll tend to find that this is a thing which a lot of people don't realize when you see them trying to draw older people, they will still draw them with the same kind of rules of hair that they've had before. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes you can go like, OK, yeah, like, like maybe like a guy's hair will start up like quite far back. And and they'll do that. However, it's it is true the same thing with with women. You don't have hair if if, if say somebody's in their sixties, they're not going to have hair that starts down there, unless they've done something done to their hair. Um, so, as I said in this thing, uh, in the thing I drew for you, hair is kind of like a mass. Rather, so you don't ever want to do this. This is just for people at home who didn't catch the start. You don't want to do stuff like this with hair. You don't do that on eyebrows or any, yeah. in that kind of stuff because we don't read it. Like with that, that's our brain saying we know strands of hair are thick. However, we don't draw stuff like like that because like that, that that's not how we how we interpret it because our brains are also really good at uh, so we don't go insane reducing information. So when I'm when I'm looking at you now, Maddie, I'm not thinking she's got like twenty thousand hairs that immediately in my view. It's like yeah. okay, there's a mass of hair there, and so I would just say, like, say with yours, there's like a there's kind of nice there's a shadow part there, and we just go. I'm sorry for drawing you on this this strange looking man. This is <laughs> it's just <laughs> no yeah. no. But it's, cool. it, it's, it's 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 just you've got you've got a nice swoop to your hair, which is quite good. Um, See now the chat these. <laughs> You lot are so good. Now that, <laughs> what is it? Let me just scroll up. I think it was uh, Angus. It's like, imagine the Maddie office Christmas party this year. Chip helmets at the ready. And Tony's now, Tony, don't you dare. He's like, maybe I should make a foldable chip helmet available for download. <laughs> oh my God, that's going to happen. That should be your stream next week, Tony. That's going to that's happen. Oh, brilliant. 
Okay. So, um, so yeah, so, so, so with your hair, for example, all I've done, and, and this reads well already, is, um, if I mask this one out. Okay, so that's masked out of it. You can literally see, it's like, this is just like one big large shape. So we're saying it's, it, I mean, this is almost like a kind of like that shape. Kind yeah. Of. And so all you would do then would to be suggest a few lines there to show some, uh, show some depth. And then, um, could you could you move your hand off your face a second, please? Lovely, thank you. Okay, yeah, so it, it, it goes up. Oh. Like we, we, we've suddenly gone into life modeling. On a live stream. On a live stream. Okay, and so, yeah, it, it's that kind of thing. So the okay. hair always has to follow, if you think about it being affected by gravity, okay, it always starts from a point. Sorry, the camera's not so high. Um, it's at some point and then kind of comes out falling down from gravity. So it moves that in those kind of directions. And we're not drawing every stream. We think about them as large shapes because I could say like, which if your hair were shorter, we could see. Let's actually draw on the thing. Let's get rid of that one. Okay, entirely different haircut. Let's say a bit darker. Okay, so let's go to the other side. So we're saying person has this kind of emo looking thing looks kind of severe it's it's more about making out the the bigger shapes now when you're talking kind of cartoony stuff this is obviously much more straightforward however mm. if you're painting stuff realistically which uh, I, I would still follow this exact same way even if i was doing like a really lifelike portrait i would work at these basic shapes first and then let's say let's tuck that bit behind the ear so we've got that kind of thing. Let's cool. move it out so it could be clear. Um, and then all you would do is just kind of, you'd start to paint more stuff on top. If you're painting more realistic hair, you go darker first, um, because even with lighter hair, uh, like yours, the lights, light doesn't get through. It doesn't penetrate as much, like the, further, the, the thicker it gets. So anything kind of close to, like close to the base is darker. Yeah, uh, even with even with really blonde people, and like the more the light's hitting it from above, then it kind of changes the look. Um, I'm not using myself as a example because my hair's mostly dark. There's a nice bit of grey coming in, but other than that, um, and and so you would just do that if you were painting naturally. You do darkest first, and then paint light on top, and just keep doing that until it ends up into a nice kind of yeah. And I think it, a few strands. it's such a good tip actually about the hairline because I feel like I've taught myself to draw based on me drawing the girls. And then if I'm drawing an older woman, like a mother character, mm. that is, that it's not me, but I'm really basing it off what I've drawn of them. I'm still making it look, it looks too young. Do you know what I mean? It's yes. not, and yeah. so the hairline is definitely something. It, it, it's it, a simple it, fix. Yeah, it, it's all of these subtle things. It's, um, <laughs> it, it gives the people, those of us that, that draw faces like fairly regularly, we tend to spot these things because we have to, because otherwise you, you do that thing and you think, well, I've got like a, a, a woman who's supposed to be 50, but somehow looks 18. Yeah. And, and, and you kind of wonder why and you think like, what's going on? And you can see even professionals, I still see do this, will, will do that kind of thing where it's like they, they've drawn somebody who's supposed to be old, but somehow they look like they're about 21. Um, yeah. and, and vice versa, you get there, some people who try to draw children who look like, who look really old, who look, who look like they're in their forties because they're not noticing how the face changes. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about that. Let's change how we're going. <laughs> I'm gonna go off again. <laughs> let's go. Uh, okay, so, um, with uh, a little, little, tiny bit of science for you, the older we get, uh, our bodies get more and more exposed to testosterone over the years. It really kicks in your puberty, which is what affects the shape of our jaw and the width. But we gradually, and I say we as in everybody, everybody, uh, our bones expand with more exposure to testosterone. Uh, this is also why you see, when you see like really big wrestler kind of guys, they've always got like big square jaws. There's never like a like, no kind of undefined jaw amongst them. And it, it's not just chance, we all get hit by testosterone. Um, and so that's actually another key thing, because say, I, I just want to change this guy a bit because he's creeping me out. His, his stairs are really strange. Um, so let's just let's bring this thing in a bit nicer nose and more pleasant eyes. 
And Dave, Michelle's asking, do you have online classes? I don't. I, I don't. This is the second time I've been asked this, and I'm now thinking, I'm, I don't know, maybe I should. I'm not sure. But um, thank you, Michelle, for your interest, and it may be something I do, but uh, I don't know. I'm not... I wouldn't be sure where to pitch my stuff, to be honest. I don't know whether I should just do stuff like this and say this is more fundamental stuff or whether I should go like more. Yeah, watch all of Dave's lives. Um, that's a, definitely a tip. And Liz, Liz is like, I'm not sure I want to know about this science stuff. <laughs> I know. I, I Believe me, it depresses me too. Like, as I, I, I kind of learned, like, oh, yeah, no, to, to draw somebody my age, the hairline needs to go back. That was a bit of a rough one. And... Um, and, and yeah, there's other fun things as well, which which we'll see now. <laughs> so, so brace yourself, everybody. <laughs> everybody, every, every, yeah, everybody over thirty, that. this is going to hurt. Under thirties, don't worry, you're never going to age. This is never going to happen to you. <laughs> I remember thinking that. I was like, what if? What if I was the first person to never age? It sadly didn't come true, but you know, I lived in hope. Well, Peter Pan, you know. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so let's say with this person, right? With when we do get hit, like let's say we want to draw this as a like a youngish guy, right? So we go fairly young, we'll go kind of teenage, so we'll go softish jaw, ears aren't so big. Let's do that kind of rough way. And then we'd have a kind of hairline. That's it. Also, because young, younger people have thicker hair as well, so let's just give that a massive amount of hair. Not in any particular style, because, you know, but I'm just saying, thick hair. It, it, it's, a, it's a thing that like, youngish people have, and so we got that. Right, what would happen when you get a bit more in the way of testosterone is we change that with them and just general aging. So the jaw becomes wider and it comes down kind of let's go Ooh. let's give it a proper there you go, a proper guy's jaw now so we're talking this is bigger the nose will slightly change and get a bit broader this tends to happen the nose bone can, can become more pronounced uh, eyebrows will become thicker and again this is all true of women as well i've just started to draw a, a guy and it's because it's it's, it's it's easier, it's less subtle on men mm. typically, um, up to a point. So we go there and then... This would be a good project, you know, actually drawing up through the ages as like a, um, just something like to anchor of the ages that like I'm drawing. So to so yeah. have my reference of something over there. Okay. Oh, cool, and look at this coming together, look at that. And you see, yeah, you see like this, so, so he's got, He's, he's still got a decent amount of hair, but it's not it's not as voluminous as it once was. Mm. And uh, and so and we'd also have because uh, collagen, which is uh, which is what I used to have in my cheeks, um, which is what kind of keeps everybody looking young. Uh, mm. It starts to fade over time, and so then gradually yeah. that's why if uh, you start to get kind of slight. Uh, bags and rice is just because the collagen's not there pushing it up it literally just over time it won't replenish and yeah. so then you kind of and that's um that's also why when people see who uh, are really malnourished they start to look more skeletal because like, the collagen's going and there's no there's no weight or kind of fat to keep it off this off the skull and so people look more emaciated it's literally just their kind of their skins kind of tend to hang on their own collagen. skull yeah. And, they're, and they're making people drink collagen now, but they don't make people, they sell it, don't they? For people that want to have collagen. Yeah, I... I, I I'm not sure about drinking it. Scientifically so. speaking, I don't think that works. I think it's, I think, sadly, once you're done, you're done. This dream is... Is I, 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 this has gone dark. Sorry, this is um, sorry. This is normally a cheerful stream with us. Back but, uh, to chips. Chips for hair. Oh. <laughs> But yeah, um, okay, and so uh, so so that would be like your kind of older guy. So you've kind of got like your jaws much thinner. Yeah. Uh, hair's more plump. There's there's uh, fewer like lines to detail things, and then we go like, cool. yeah, uh, bang, 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 like that. Now what happens as well if you go like one step further, then in older age, then we tend to find that our noses. They, they get further down 
if I just lower the opacity on this one so I can see what I'm doing again. Okay, so they go further down and they get larger as well. So you kind of get big, kind of get bigger noses and like gravity starts to just take in. And so you'll get more, not just wrinkles. Skin, uh, skin jaw can go wider. Uh, the eyelids can get heavier as well. I hadn't drawn eyelids. Oh dear. Be. You can have like a heavier eyelids on certain people. And then the ears, and you'll notice this, now I've said it, uh, is that uh, people's earlobes get bigger as well. Blimey. And so and so they start to come down further. Well, Sandrine again... has put in the chat, depressing, but in capital letters. <laughs> I know, I'm really sorry, Sandrine. I, I did not think about this impact I was going to have on people. I'm sorry, I really like it to be cheerful. However, uh, okay. Um, actually, uh... the, yeah, a, a fun little scientific thing. If we're drawing kids, so we'll go the other way, we'll go young. Yeah. Uh, a yeah. super, super, super quick, quick, sketchy kid. Okay, this is one thing. They barely have anything of a jaw at all, because obviously they've not been kind of done much. So their eyes, and I've drawn this to the side for a reason. So their eyes tend to look a lot bigger and cuter than ours. They look all kind of cute. And their noses are all bunched up. And they have these kind of cute little noses like this. And the mouse here. And that's because of uh, breastfeeding. No like, way. It makes it easy. like your nose, it, so the nose literally doesn't obscure it. Once you once breastfeeding stops, and then people get oh, and then, then it kind of... there. then it starts to it starts to level out over time, and then oh. eventually, depending on certain, because like certain people will have noses which really come down like that. Yeah. Let's say it's a certain person. Let's just draw like a. Maybe this person is an angry. <laughs> Angus is like I've aged in 35 minutes watching and I, 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 like I, everyone is super self-conscious now <laughs> I know I, I, I know sorry this is um yeah I promise I'm not doing this too much when I'm talking to people I'm more actually I'm talking to them I'm not it's, it's more when I'm on like a, on the tube or on a or like a transport or something I would then look at people and work out what's what the landmarks are um so yeah that that's our noses change and then yeah kids like little ones, so we're, we're going to go younger. Everybody, it's okay. We're going happier now. We're going, we're going, like, <laughs> we're going to go back in time. Uh, so yeah, so kids have much, much, much higher noses, which are much smaller. So you kind of get cute little noses. Although this is kind of creepy for a minute. Uh, it's going to be larger eyes because they're a bit big, wide. Oliver is like, I can feel my face sagging. <laughs> <laughs> I just I was, everyone's such an apology. I did not think this through. <laughs> so everyone um, just just massage your face. Yeah, we'll, we'll it's a group, okay, yeah. A group but, massage. <laughs> yeah, don't 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 frown or anything too much. And do you know what? That's one way. You know how um uh how you when you see somebody who who's older, so they've got like yeah. um I, I mean kind of like properly old, so they've got wrinkles, but you kind of you think like you kind of look at them, you think that person looks really grumpy, or that person looks pleasant and friendly. Mm -hmm. And it's literally because, like, it, much like anything, like, you wear it enough times, it, it gets worn in a certain way. And so, like, mm -hmm. um, if I smile, I get, like, wrinkles now, like, around there, like, crow's feet wrinkles. But it's fine, because, and they will eventually stay there. Yeah. And, but but that will make me look more happy, whereas, um, like, uh, I, I tease my wife, because she just was kind of frowning a lot. Like, it was kind oh, of, no. And she got, like, a permanent line there. She's yeah. not watching this now, we're okay. Nobody <laughs> tell her. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody <laughs> tell her. Well, someone tells Andrine because she's watching this stream with her head in the freezer now. <laughs> Come she's, back. It's always Sandrine that sets me. She's so funny. <laughs> oh, bless her. Okay. Oh, dear. Right, what were we doing? What were we doing? What were we doing? Okay, so uh, hmm. let's... How long have we got? We we we're, have, oh, we're okay. We've only okay. got 20 minutes left. Yeah. Okay, so, so we, don't, we haven't really got to expressions. I've drawn one so far. <laughs> Um, okay, okay, so let's go for a few, just a, a fun few quick tips before yes. we go to expression. Okay, so, uh, okay, let's say ears. Okay, th this is one I think you're like, uh, how do you make an ear with just a symbol and a letter? And about, uh, some people will know this. Okay, so go we on. go question mark and a Y. So what we do, this this is really, really, this is really simple, it's really funny. Um, 
Okay, so we got it, it, you slightly cheat. The question mark goes around slightly, and then you have a small line here. But then, so this is part of your question mark. Look at that. That's mm -hmm. your question mark. Mm -hmm. And then we just have the letter Y. So we just go like that. And hang on. Cool. We can curl it around because there's, it, although everybody's ears look slightly different. I'm writing this down. Ev everybody has that kind of, I can't think what it's called. I can't even show you because I've got air AirPods in. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, that kind of cartilage, I guess, is always shaped like a Y in the ear. And so that yeah. is how instantly you've got an ear. And it, it's really, really straightforward. And you can go like more simplistic and just go. <laughs> like Imagine like like, it. Love it. That kind of thing. Um, Love it. And we've got, and for the reverse, if you want to see the back of an ear, it's just an elongated S. Ooh. Uh, we just do this kind of thing. So you see that basic PNS? And then we just add the back of the ear there. Why would you draw this one? This is this if is for the back. From the back. This is from the back, yes. Imagine this this ah. is hair now. Very there's, cool. There's, also, there's always a gap here. The hen, head, there's always a gap between the ear and where the hairline actually starts. Because you'll sometimes see people just draw hair there, and that's wrong. It's like it, it's it's just like you bolted an ear to somebody. Whereas, uh, yeah, actual hair would be up here. But yeah, that that's the side of the head. So that's cool. Um, right, let's do expressions. Seeing as that's what we came here to do. Okay, expression. First one, easy trick. Anger. No, th Ooh. this is one thing that people are often going to get us to draw, especially like losing me like you're drawing comics. Everybody's angry. Thank you. Yeah. Easy, easy thing to remember is everything, and I do mean pretty much everything, starts here. And everything just points in. Points in. So like this, this is why Disney draw all of their villains with a, um, a, a, it's a triangular, isn't it, with villains? Like all of yes. their... They're angry and their chins are more pointed, their eyebrows are pointed, everything's a V if it's a villain. That's, that's to do with shape language. Mm. That's more because we have an instinct of, uh, like if something's sharp, we say, I'll let's say our villain's face right now, so we go like this. Like sharp danger. Expression. Danger. Yeah, it, it's danger. It, it's thorns, it's glass, it's, it's like everything. Yes. It, everything we see. And so, yeah, we do like, a, like sharp stuff and it just looks scary. Whereas like, round stuff doesn't tend to hurt us. And so we make nice round <laughs> teddy bear. There we go, everybody. It's getting nicer. It's getting more pleasant. <laughs> we get nicer. And and yeah, that, that shape language. You also get stuff like um like like square is like dependable and strong and like a drop to its prime. Yeah. And, and so yeah, you, you get that kind of thing. It, it's like, I mean, he's entirely squares almost. And I've drawn it off the screen. But yeah, you get the point with that. It's um uh -huh. very cool. But but no, the, the anger part, the reason it goes through there is just because that's uh, our face has kind of certain directions that we go to. Mm -hmm. So so yeah, for anger now, when we get angry, oops. So if you imagine that point there. Yes. I erased it. Okay, so anger. So we just changed this. You can see the person already, they're starting to look more annoyed. Yes. Okay, so it starts to look, and this is what we do. Like our, our eyebrows all face down. We get uh, half brown lines there, there. We get um, our nose kind of like wrinkles, that, uh, kind of like uh, not the bad wrinkles, just the anger wrinkles, which I just guess are bad. Um, yeah, and it's and it's all very much. Yeah, we do become more angular, and everything just points there. And you can already see. I've not even changed like the eyes or the yeah ears or the face. Already, that person looks much less happy. Yeah, and so that's 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 your quick cheat sheet to um, anger. It's always okay. just and, and the thing is, it doesn't matter as well because when people are angry, it doesn't matter if they don't look too aesthetically pleasing because it's not an aesthetically pleasing uh, mood or sentiment. Mm. It, it, it's a, it's supposed to be unpleasant, so you can go to town like people can just be like absolutely fuming. <laughs> go to town. I love it. I've made a couple of notes. I've drawn <laughs> anger lines on my page. Yeah. Love it. So yeah, you've got your anger lines there. Actually, let's leave that so we can sort of be it if we need to. 
Let's hide that. Let's go. Let's go to uh, happiness. So much nicer because I feel Yay. bad for everybody else now. So, okay. okay. Happy, happiness is great. Yeah. Happiness, uh, good science for you. The smile uh, literally improves your mood, even if you're faking it. If you hold it for like 10 seconds, it, yeah. you, you get endorphins, get released. You feel better. You feel happier. It's why when you see people and they smile, if it's a genuine smile that your brain can pick it up and then you feel better. If like yeah, if someone true. walks past you and smiles in the street and you're going, oh, there, there, hi, and, and you feel a bit better and it's nicer and it's lovely. And yeah. what happens is uh, stand a bit closer. Your your face basically uh, it open, opens up like when you're like when you're angry, it's like everything's all screwed up. But when you're happy, it's like, ah, yeah, and, and everything and you're like your face lights up. It's like there's more room with everything. And so everything kind of goes. Yeah, it, it's, it's much more. I think this is why babies are quite pleasant to look at sometimes it's with the ones that don't look like little weird gnomes. Um, <laughs> or potato. Or yeah. potato. Wasn't it well I, I, I'm allowed to say that. I, I'm, I've, I've had three kids. I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> oh, yeah. The same with mine. Um, and I was going to say, wasn't it Roald Dahl that there was a quote that he put in one of his books and it was all about yes. um, when you smile, sunbeams come out of your Yes, face yeah, something. Like that. It's, it's, yeah, it's really he, he made a quote. good few quotes about that. Yeah. And Liz yeah, is like, oh, I like this science. <laughs> yeah, he said, yeah, yeah, this science is much nicer, Liz. This is much, <laughs> this is much more where we want to focus on. Smiling is good. Oh, it makes us, it makes us happy. Um, th th there are actually there are numerous. I won't go into it because we're not doing science, but uh, there are numerous benefits to uh, a smile, like all yeah. kinds of stuff across the board. It's kind of crazy, like how much a difference it can make. So again, everything goes up. So we're we're like that. Yeah. And then a smile beams. And again, remember the um, the rule still stands, like midpoints mm. of the eyes for the smile, even when yeah. it's a large smile. And so you got like a big smile, and it opens up. And you see the mouth, big then smile, get, and no you, teeth drawn separately. Yeah, no, you, you draw the teeth separately. Yes, yeah, um, yeah. To, to hammer this home, this point home, I'll, I'll draw this in a second. <laughs> so there we go. Okay, teeth. This is why we we don't do this. Um, again, much like hair. We, we do this as a mass because when typically, unless you're really up close to somebody and you're noticing something particular, when you, when you smile, you just see two rows. Uh, and so it can be like this. So if it's a big smile, it'd be, you kind of get, it gets dark towards the edges. A big, let's go big open mouth smile because we've cheered everybody up. That's all good. And we've all learned that smiling is good for us. You get a nice smile, and that reads great. And you can add like a couple of bits of detail, like there or something, just to give it some kind of depth. But you don't want, if I copy that, if I just get it all. Let's bring that one here. The reason is uh, because when you render every tooth, so yeah. say we go like, which which is quite normal, which we make sense. We've all got individual teeth. So we go one, two, three, four, and then we have a. And, uh, and then yeah it looks like but, there's something wrong with them yeah well the thing is it's like um it becomes a malnutrition thing like when it's it's yeah i won't again i won't, won't do science too much with this um it's the unhealthy you are the, the more your teeth will spread and they'll kind of erode and go yeah. away and eventually like you kind of you'll get like your gaps or something like, like one will fall out entirely and uh they, like they yeah. can, and and thing is when you draw these lines in between it suddenly looks like they're tiny eroding pegs rather, rather than a nice, healthy, healthy line of teeth. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we just were, even with a really, really big smile, unless we're trying to do something, which, yeah, yeah. You mentioned, you mentioned Disney actually. I remember, I, I can't remember this exactly, but there's a thing where Jafar in Aladdin did something and to, to, to kind of prove he was evil. They did this kind of, he, yes. he, he had this really big toothy smile yeah that's and it it was all over yeah. the top and you could see every last tooth and you guarantee yeah. aladdin was following that that aladdin was like this yes true with, with his tooth he was he true. was very much um and um david i've got a question for you, you um so you know when um and this is like old school cartoons where i remember it when um if people are doing a really big open wide mouth smile and you can mm -hmm. see their tongue would you yeah. draw, you know how people draw the tongue like a bounce tongue sometimes? Like when they, mm. you look in, yes. you know, do you draw the tongue or would you just shade the middle of the mouth? Would you not draw it? Uh, no, I would draw it sometimes. It entirely depends. It's, um, 
it, that's kind of one of those things i'm more played by aesthetics to be honest like it's just kind of like if if it works or not because you can do that's good. Sorry, I'm, I'm laughing there because um <laughs> Oliver's phone there, <laughs> just giving me all the banter about the chips again. Um, and Oliver's like, that feeling that you find out your hair is free chips. <laughs> 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 and Tony's like, was it because Aladdin was wearing a chip helmet? <laughs> I, I really want you to make a chip helmet now, Tony, please. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, sometimes, and you can have, like, say, let's, let's okay. go cartoony for a second. So you can have somebody with like a big, like say, say especially if they're laughing, mm. then yeah, then we could do like the whole tongue. Ooh, is that side view? No. Uh, okay. no, it's kind of a. It's three quarters. Oh. So if we do like a. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like they're they're laughing. Cool. Uh huh. Proper good for. Yes. Yeah. And actually, <laughs> a chortle. <laughs> yeah. There we go. And Where's so, yeah, and so we've even got the, um, I can't remember Ooh, what it's called, the, the, the thing in the back. Are that epiglottis? No. Yeah, epigl epiglottis is what came into my head, but I was like, is that right? I, I don't want to, I, I don't want to bluff it live on the stream. But, um, <laughs> but yes, yeah, so, uh, so yeah, the tongues, tongues can be perfectly fine. I mean, a lot of the time we, because they move so often, it's like you can, you can have it in there or not on the smile, depending on like if you yeah. would choose to. Yeah, because yeah, like, sometimes we can see our tongue, sometimes we can't. Even during a laugh, our tongue's going to be moving. So it's it, it's flexible. It's fine. Um, what was I doing? What was I doing? Um, yes, yeah, so, yes. Yeah, so smiling and even it, it's always big. You can make the cheeks come out more. Uh, everything just looks really happy and move up. And it's it's already kind of nice and pleasant to see. Nice. Um, Okay, so uh, one thing I was going to say about expressions, and we can go into like uh, exaggeration. Let's, again, let's hide this. Right, now, the top part, the skull, the egg part of things, down to our nose, that's not mm -hmm. flexible. That's all literally dependent on our skull. Right. However, and you'll see it's been all kind of cartoons and stuff, you can, you can bend stuff a lot as long as you obey those kind of rules. So the eyes stay in the same place, nose does. But what you can do... It is there. So we can say we can go like no, Whoa. no, too wide. No, 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 too big. <laughs> Whoa. You could have a kind of, you could go like way more cartoony. And there you go, there's the tongue again. Uh, we can go like so that the ice the ice can still say the same. We've got like eyebrows are going up, so we're kind of like happy, and because the jaw can move out as much as you want, the jaw typically follows this kind of. If we're looking at this one here, it can follow this kind of rotation, like like logically, so it can go out like that. The jaw can like swing out, so you can just you can stretch it as much as you want. You can have a character with a massive chin. And that will still work following those. You see that? Is that kind yeah. of, that still works on the guy on the left? Yeah. That still okay. does that still looks right. I mean that joy is abs absurd, but it that is. still fits. But it still fits. It's like um Johnny Bravo. Who, uh, who... Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, kind of... it, it, it's exactly that thing. So you, you can exaggerate stuff if wow. we if we pull the stuff down. Uh so you can have any kind of crazy looking face as long as you have that top bit in the section. So let's, let's say, so I've barely changed this at all. Okay, so we've got the ears there. And let's just hide the oh, nice. nice. hide that. Okay, this guy's face still works now. Yeah. Yeah, and it does, yeah. And it's, re it's really stretched out. So the rule is that the eyes and the nose and the ears stay the same, but then the jaw can expand and change. Yes, yeah, yeah. Basically, anything from the jaw can move, and then you just like the, the mouth can go crazy. Yeah, and it does not. It does not matter. It will still read perfectly well as long as that that top section is in place. Perfect. And 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 that will go for any kind of exaggeration, at all. So we can say like, say we get like a 
crazy. We took like a really big nose like that, but it's still that still stays in the same place. Let's go. Somebody was looking like. There was an old film with Steve Martin when he had a really long nose, and it was a really Ro I I loved it. Roxanne. Roxanne. Yeah. That was such a good film. I haven't seen that for ages. No. And Evie, I completely agree with you. Um, the mask when with the big face a, a minute ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I see, that that's a really good example. Mm. Uh, yeah, because the, the mask they do a lot. I mean, yeah, he's. I'm trying to remember now. So yeah, let's let's draw a new one. But so the mask, yeah, he can turn around and go like. He'll have his normal eyes, but then he can go. Like, Rah. So cool. uh, and then that was still back. And then yeah, the mask. <laughs> Why trim with that nose? Uh, but yeah, and so, so the nose and the eyes kind of stay in the same place. He doesn't have ears, I don't think, does he? The uh, the mask. Yeah. With I I could be wrong. I don't remember him having ears. Quick, somebody Google it. I, I can't check it right now. I'm drawing, but somebody check it. I'm sh I'm sure in the film, at least, if not the comics, I don't think he has ears. I'm confused. I don't know. I thought it was the guy with the green mask, like Jim Carrey. Yeah. With the mask. He yeah. has his normal. Does he, has his, does he have his normal ears? Oh, I don't know now. I I, I could bring, we, yeah, we need somebody in the chat to check this, but yeah, because- Umicorn's sure. like no ears. Yes, thank, thank you, Umicorn. <laughs> Yeah, and so like, so yeah, because we we could do him looking very confused. And it's like, uh, like, like his the face will bunch up. Oh my gosh, I still think Cuban Pete is the best it, song in that whole. Well he, well, he was the king of the Latin beat. The rumba beat. <laughs> right, <damn it. laughs> so oh, funny. I love it. It's, it's so good, isn't it? Liz is like, just googled it. This is what Google's here for. <laughs> it, exactly. I'd be doing it myself if I wasn't busy doing this. It, it, yeah, yeah, I've, yeah. I've, seen I've got to stop everything now. I need to know. It's like, I just need to Google this one thing. Oh, my goodness. Um, I've got to let everybody know, because we, we're nearly at time. We've got two minutes left. Um, oh, the, the, tomorrow, <laughs> I know. Um, Joe Allen will be hosting tomorrow. So um, we have Holger Kalumas. Um, it's all about photography and still life. So um, Joe will be dialing in from Japan, I, I think. So um, that will definitely be a good stream if you're about same time on Behance tomorrow. Uh, same time. David, we've got like one and a, one minute left or one and a half minutes left. Um, and we started with chips for hair. And okay. it's all of us have uh, <laughs> had a good giggle about this today. This has been so good. We've covered yeah. so many emotions and lots of science. Lots I'm of gonna, I, 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 I drink chip head. <laughs> this is a new character called Chip Man. He, chip. He's, he's got a bit punk. He, he, he starts off like a, like a more like vulture esque character from Spider Man. <laughs> and now he's got all the chips. This is good. Well, you know, I am going to redo my, my original drawing um, of, of Kev with the chip hair. Uh, based on your advice and your tips. And I, I wrote down a lot today. The things that I wrote down, the key things from mm. the stream for me have been drawing three eyes to make yes. sure that the spacing is yep. right. Um, well, there you go. And Tim has shared the original chip, the, the awful. <laughs> <laughs> Say it, I mean. So, um, yeah, so, so I will. I'm going to put that picture right. So that's the task. So, yeah, so I've drawn three eyes. I've also drawn the line from the pupil of your eyes down to the end of your yep. Tip. So Does that's the other tip. Uh, and ears with a question mark and a Y. So, yeah. And then from reverse with an elongated S. Yes, yes, I got that. And of course, the biggest one, of course, is the hair not being like chips and the teeth not being yes. individually drawn out. Yeah, so, you ju just think of them <laughs> as, as larger things rather than individual elements. Right, perfect tips, really great tips. And everyone in the chat is agreeing, you know, they're all happy with the trips. Uh, tri trips. <laughs> <laughs> it was the chips. <laughs> Everybody likes the chips. <laughs> And, and again, everybody, I, I would like to formally apologise for bringing it down and, and think about horrible, crushing reality for a moment. But and, tips, and... though, I love the fact that we're all confusing chips with tips. Sean's like, <laughs> chips today, I mean tips. 
<laughs> amazing. <laughs> hey, Joe, we'll be here tomorrow. Dave, you, thank you so much. You're amazing. Thank you for today. Oh, thank you. Um, great stream, as always. And we'll see you all tomorrow, same time. Bye, Thanks. everybody. See you, everybody. Good to see you. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you.